Hey everybody, Mark again here with Weatherman Plus. Good afternoon, hope you're having a great day today. God bless each and every single one of you. Now, I got some new information I want to show you. I told you I'd go a little bit in depth with the, with the information and see what's going on with these storms. And I got that for you. Uh, to all the new people here, God bless you. Welcome to our community. Uh, please think about subscribing. We're a helpful and loving community. And if you need anything to talk about, I'm here for you. I'm here for all my, my viewers, all my subs. So just ask. And I'm here to talk with you. So let's get on into it. God bless you today. Don't forget to listen to your message at the end. Here we go. And for those that, that want official uh, confirmation, I, I know how you can be. Some people's information is not good enough for you. This is a hurricane center, my friend. And they're noticing it as problems. You can see it yourself when you go there. They're giving it a low of 30% for both. Well, I beg to differ. I guarantee you they're going to upgrade this to what I'm telling you. Now, this is the 500 millibar winds. This is what I wanted to check for you. This is 15 to 18,000 feet up in the air. It's the very tops of the storms. I want to see if it has power even on the very top to where it's breathing all the way through the machine. If you notice, as it goes past Puerto Rico, it loses strength, picks up strength. It's not quite ready until after it passes Puerto Rico so far. Now, as we get towards the U.S., it gains a lot of strength and it also gets into a color that I haven't seen in a while when I look on tops you got the purples in there now normally the tops aren't aren't that strong because they get a lot of fighting going on a lot of problems and but this thing shows that it is strong not only from the bottom but the middle is strong as well it's str middle stronger than the bottom but this is a very tippy top and the very tippy top has 126 miles per hour winds. So this, this is going to be a ramping machine. This is Surface Cape. This, uh, as y'all seen my videos before, I love Surface Cape. It really tells you, uh, well, Surface Cape is, is capable, available, potential energy. That's what it stands for. Uh, pretty much it's a measurement, okay? It's all the way in the troposphere. It lets you know the amount of potential energy that any storm or they call it a parcel uh, of air originating in the surface that could be lifted to a level of convection so if it has like say you have storms and they have all this whiteness is where your severe storms would be or this dark red like you see over the country there's a lot of convection in that if it would have been white you better watch out because there's probably tornado warnings in that section because there's a lot of convection a lot of available uh, convective energy for it to grow and we all know tornadoes and like hurricanes they need uh any cyclone it needs convection to grow so this is the storm here okay the one behind it is it's called a little one that's going to pop it just disappears but this is weak energy this right here is dry air okay it's weak energy this void right here this this complete void this void area is dry air. It represents dry air. Now, it's not totally dry like here with the blues, but you can tell towards the center it's starting to burst up a, a bubble of, of emptiness of dry air. So there is pockets. That's bad. And I do show it when it goes towards the east coast, the energy for it to grow after it leaves Puerto Rico, I show isn't there. Uh, let me show you. I show that it bursts up to a to a monster it gets a lot of energy and keeps ramping it's right here moving around you'll see it when it forms up and it sucks up all this available energy bam and it just grows to this big thing now as it goes towards the east coast it gets the potential you see it getting the whites it's getting a lot of strength it's getting big and it's down here okay it's moving past puerto rico but it's all this energy is around it and then the energy, after it gets one big burst, the energy goes away. The energy's gone. And it still shows the same path, but look at this. You have dry air, almost dry air in front of it. I see this weakening so far as it gets towards the coast, if this is the uh, direct path that it will be taken. If it goes underneath Puerto Rico, bam. Well, we, if you look down here, there's not a lot of instability. Like all this greens, that's medium. The blues are bad for the storm. But all this red, it soaks up and goes north. If it would actually go under, underneath uh, Puerto Rico and go a little further, it has some very 
high uh, uh, cape values right here, this white, for it to grow a little bit. But if it would follow that path, eventually it wouldn't get as strong because the cape values are not over here. But instead, it looks like it goes north and weakens that way. So we just got to stay up on it and follow the cape on it and see what the instability is. This is your wind gust, so we can see what to expect uh, with the power that comes with the winds of this storm. And as it gets close to Puerto Rico, it starts ramping up in the wind gusts. It does get more and more powerful. Uh, just seen right there, it's clearly in the 90s and going higher in the yellows. But as we get further along, it gains even more power immediately. And it's already up to 108 wind gusts. So that's, that's a lot of power coming with this storm. Wherever this storm goes, because the track is changing every six hours, literally. Uh, it's going to bring a lot of damage and a lot of problems. I mean, look how big that is. That is huge. With 109 in the center. This is all tropical depression, tropical storm with the darker ones. The green's all 20s to high 20s. So, just so you know. There you go. All right, let's check something else. This is a 500 millibar level. This is where the air pressure everywhere is 500 millibars. And I got it it's on the ABSV. You can see up here in the corner. That way we can see the cells. Here's one here. And here's one down here. Now, this is the two areas of, of uh, areas to watch that they moved. They moved it up to under Puerto Rico. In this area for one. And for the second one back here. Which I agree with the second one. It does look like it does flare up and fuse out. Uh, on the 10 meter run, it's even hard to even find it. Uh, now, as we go through, you can see the time and date on the left. This starts on the 31st. This is only three days away, guys. This is not far. Now, as you see this, the cells tracking through, you see the first one. The first one moves to the first center, this first section right here. This is it right here. The second one is right here. And this is the one that fuses up in a couple of frames and just disappears. So we'll see if that stays with it. However, the first one gathers a lot of strength and it pulls out of the five day. As far as we know, a few days from now, it's, it could go under here because that's about how it works. As the days go by, it gets further and further along. Looks like it goes past Puerto Rico, right up north and above it. And as it gets into the east coast, it looks like it takes a dive towards New York. That's just what I show from here. And that's a pretty big sell. And just to show you, New York, right before this happens in a couple of days, y'all going to have some storms pass through up here. And y'all going to be feeling that before you even have the problem of this coming. So just so the East Coast and the Northeast knows, please be aware of this. And if this does move a little further west, like it's projected in this area and it stays underneath with Puerto Rico, it definitely would become a Miami or, or a Gulf of Mexico problem. So please, let's keep our eye on this, guys. Now that's our storm, guys. It looks like it's if it goes underneath Puerto Rico and all that, it's going to be a different story if it goes further west. But if it keeps going west, it could easily go over Puerto Rico, give them problems before it comes to the U.S. and gives us problems over here. So let's pray for Puerto Rico. Let's pray for everybody in the path of this possibility. God bless all of y'all. I know you're stressed enough from what's been going on, but it's just ramping up. We're really just getting right into the heart of the season, guys. Romans 5. Therefore... Now that we have been declared righteous as a result of faith, let us enjoy peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom also we have gained our approach by faith into this undeserved kindness in which we now stand. And let us exalt based on hope of the glory of God. And not only that, but let us exalt while in tribulations. Since we know that tribulations produces endurance, Endurance in turn an improved condition. The, the approved condition in turn hope. And the hope does not lead to disappointment because the love of God has been poured out, out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit which was given us. For indeed Christ while we were yet weak died for ungodly men at the appointed time. For hardly, for hardly will anyone die for a righteous man Indeed, for the good man, perhaps, some even dares die. But God re recommends his own love to us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. 
Much, much, therefore, since we have been declared righteous now by his blood, shall we be saved through him from wrath. For if, when we were enemies, we became reconciled to, to God through the death of his Son, much more, now that we have become reconciled, we shall be saved by his life. Not only that, but we are also exalting to God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received the reconciliation. That is why, just as through one man, sin enters into the world, and death through sin, and thus death spread to all men because they had all sinned. For until the law sin was in the world, but sin is not charged against anyone when there is no law. Nevertheless, death ruled as king from Adam down to Moses and even those who had not sinned after the likeliness of the transgression of Adam, who bears a resemblance to him that was to come. But it is not with the gift as it, as it was with the trespass. For if by one man's trespass many died, the undeserved kindness of God and, and as of his free gift with the undeserved kindness by the one man, Jesus Christ abounded much more than to many. Also, it is not with the free gift as it was with the way things worked through the one man that sinned. For the judgment resulted from the trespass and condemnation, but the gift resulted from many trespasses in the declaration of righteousness. For if by the trespass of the one man death ruled as king through that one, much more will those who receive the abundance of the undeserved kindness and the free gift of righteousness rule as kings and life through the one person, Jesus Christ. So then, as through one trespass the result to men of all sorts of condemnation, likewise also through one act of justification, the result of men of all sorts is a declaring of them righteous for life. For just as through the disobedience of one, sorry, for just as through the disobedience of the one man, many were, uh, were constituted sinners, Likewise, also through the obedience of the one person, many will be constituted righteous. Now the law came and beside in order that trespasses might abound, but where sin abounded, undeserved kindness abounded still more. To what end? That, just as sin ruled as king with death, likewise undeserved kindness might rule as everlasting life in view through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. God bless you all today. Hope you have a great day today. If somebody asks you for some help, man, give them some help. Don't let your left hand know what your right hand's doing. We have all failed in these, these paths, even myself. We're all here to fix ourselves, guys. God bless you all. Welcome all the new people, men and women. I hope you have a great day. Hope you enjoyed. Please share the information.